my tumbly's rumbly for some reason. Either I swallowed some Italians, or I've got a hankering for TNT drumsticks. First, a marinade. In a pot, go sherry, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, chili garlic paste, smoked paprika, and minced garlic. Bring it up to a boil. Take it off the heat and allow it to cool for a while while we prep our meat. Slice off the bottom of your chicken leg quarters so the bone is exposed. You don't need to do this, but it'll give your tasty meat a convenient handle, just like the in-game drumsticks. Put your raw meat in a zip-top bag and in a big bowl. That way the germs are contained. Pour on your marinade, saving about a cup. Marinate in the fridge for at least four hours. I usually go overnight, though. Place the rest of your marinade in a small jar and keep it in the fridge. We're gonna use it! When it's done soaking in flavor, drain, Wash and pat dry your chicken pieces. Put them on a big plate. Now you can bake your chicken off, but this is Koopa chicken, so I'm gonna smoke it. Soak some wood chips for about 30 minutes. I'm using peach wood, naturally. Apple and hickory are good too, though. Once it's soaked, drain it and place it on a long piece of foil. Fold it up like a burrito and slice three slits in the top. Sweet. All right, now fill up your chimney starter with charcoal and light it inside of your grill. It'll take about 15 minutes to light. Once the coals are ashy on top, dump them onto one side of your grill. Place your wood packing up on top of it. Careful, use gloves. This stuff is gonna burn your flesh off if you touch it. Place your grill grates on and grease it up with a napkin that you dipped in oil. Carefully arrange your chicken on the other side. Now cover and make sure the lid vent is above the chicken. Also, make sure the bottom grill vent and the top vent are open halfway. Cook for 15 minutes. Ooh, looking good. Now you can slather on some of that reserved marinade. This is gonna make a nice spicy bark on the chicken that's almost as tasty as the meat. Cover, cook for another 15 minutes. You're going to do this two more times for a combined hour of cooking, basting every 15 minutes. When it's done, the juices should run clear and look something like this. Gorgeous! Remove your chickies to a clean plate. Now you can either serve them up with a knife and fork, but since they have handles, they're perfect for eating in the middle of an adventure. A little spicy and so juicy that grease runs down your chin. Yummy! Thanks for watching, folks! If you liked that video, consider following me on social media or contributing to my Patreon so I can make even more cool vids like this one. I've got plenty more Mario foods on my channel, too. In fact, there's a whole playlist. Check it out! As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss a recipe. See you next time! Bye!